What were your thoughts about playing Tampa? Yeah, obviously, um, the first thing that jumps out is the, is the back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. Obviously, they understand how to play and how to win in the playoffs. Um, and we're trying to figure that out. So, you know, as we go into this series, uh, I think we know these guys well. Play, uh, played them twice in, you know, pretty short order uh, recently. So, um, you know, it's on us as players to do what we got to do over the course of the next couple days to get ready to play here at home. And uh, the coaching staff's going to do their part. And, you know, we're going to regroup and we're going to refocus. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a great time to be playing hockey and, you know, be in the playoffs. And so we're looking forward to the challenges that are ahead. Yeah, I think there's lots to like. I think when you look at uh, you know the big guns and Austin and Mitch, they're obviously you know playing well and feeling it and healthy. And you know tonight there were some guys who who played some more minutes, stuck on some more responsibility, and played in different situations. And I thought did a great job. So I think as a group, we're in a good spot. Um, and uh, I mean that's all you can really ask for going into the playoffs. I think that our goal is clear. Um, you know we understand. Um, how we need to play. Uh, now it's about executing and performing um, at the most important time of year. Is it imperative to make the most out of home ice this time? Yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, a lot gets made of that. Um, you know, I think also in different sports and, you know, over the course of the, the last week or so when it's been up in the air. Um, but uh, so we'll, I mean, try to make the most of it. It's, it, 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 it's obviously a first for a lot of guys. Um, so I think we're looking forward to to being here next week uh, with a full building, our fans and home ice and all that stuff, we're going to enjoy it. And, you know, like you said, try to take full advantage of it. What's it like playing a game like tonight where the, the main goal is to not, to, to just to get through it? Yeah, I mean, I think it's more than that. I think you want to leave here feeling good. Like, you don't want to leave here, um, you know, down in the dumps after going, you know, minus five or something. Um, so I think we accomplished what we wanted to do. I thought that. I mean, there was guys that played more minutes than normal and took on different roles and, you know, did a great job. Um, so for us, I think we're in a good spot to leave here uh, and, and, and use the next two days to prepare for some important hockey. Uh, so that's all, all tonight was about. And, um, you know, I thought we did a good job with it. Do you remember your first NHL goal? You assisted on Nick's first. What stood out about him yeah. since he's got here? Smart player. Um, you know, he's not overly big uh, or... or, or um, you know, scary looking, uh, but he he does a good job and wins a lot of battles and plays right and he's he, he's he's in good position and um, you know he's I, I mean I think he's done a really good job for us. Most wins, most points in a leaf season ever. What what would you say is the the biggest amount of adversity in this season that you guys had to go through? It's a good question. Um, I mean, one that uh, it is 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 tough right now to answer. Upon more reflection, I might I might have a better answer. But I do recall early in the season, uh, you know, it wasn't pretty there for a little bit. And uh, as a group, we were able to kind of dig our way out and uh, play our way out of it, compete, stick together, um, and kind of get rolling there through November, if I'm not mistaken. But it it, it was an ugly start. Um, it's obviously something you want to avoid. Uh, but um, as a group, I think it was a great opportunity for us to kind of look adversity right in the eye and, um, you know, take it on, uh, you know, take that challenge and try to push through. And um, I think if, if you look back over the course of the season, there was a lot of really great things that happened. Obviously now um, having 82 games um, over with Mitch, obviously having a, a, a career season and uh, Austin obviously accomplishing a lot. Um, you know, we had some, some, Injuries here and there, but I thought, you know, for the most part, our team was able to kind of stick together and play well. And I mean, the only thing that really jumps out in terms of adversity right now is, is the start of the season. Matt, you uh, were one of only only a few guys on the team that played all 82. Like, how much personal pride mm -hmm. is that in, in not sitting at single game? Yeah, it, it's. I mean, there is. Um, I mean, some pride that kind of comes with that. I think now that it's it's over with, you don't want to jinx it at, at, at any point. And a couple years ago. Um, I, I, I broke my foot and, and missed some time, and I was kind of battling injury. And um, you don't really appreciate it, uh, you know, while you're in it. And I think that, you know, having to go through injuries, and I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, go deep on anyone here, but um, you look back at those times, and it's, it's tough at times when you're battling injury and you're competing and just trying to keep yourself in the lineup. So if you're able to stay healthy and play 82 and, you know, do whatever you got to do off the ice to keep yourself in the lineup, it's, it's a good feeling. And, you know, you can take it for granted at times. But, um, I mean, there's lots of guys. I know Kerf did it. I think Broads did it. Um, so, 
and camp. So I think that, I mean, those guys should be happy. I mean, there's a lot of pride. There's a lot of hard work that goes into the offseason that leads to that. How about the, that loss to Montreal? How much did that drive everything you guys did this season? In the playoffs last year? Yeah, it's interesting. I think that, I mean, that was obviously uh, um, a, po you know, a point that we really talked about as a team after that happened, uh, you know, both um, immediately after it happened and over the course of the offseason and then into training camp. But I think it's a little bit of a balancing act because you want to address it, you want to learn from it, uh, but you also want to move on. You know, I don't think that's anything that um, anyone in our room is going to look back on fondly, um, you know, unless we, you know, right the ship and accomplish you know, the ultimate goal, we'll hopefully be able to look back and say, you know, that was a big turning point for us. But until that happens, um, you almost want to, you know, block it out and deal with it later.